ago, Adam with Wiccans Wiccans Reptiles posted a video about unknown reptiles. And he challenged that one of these reptiles you won't be able to identify, even if you're good at animals. And the one that caught me was the golden spiny-tailed gecko. I've never heard of spiny-tailed geckos before, or Stropus tenicata, if I'm pronouncing that right. You guys know how I am with scientific names. But with a tail like what they've got, of course we had to investigate. I'm Katrina, Keith is going to join us today, and this is Skyline Scales. Let's dive into it. So the golden spiny tail gecko is a mid-sized gecko. It tops off at about five inches long, and they live about eight years. Now these geckos are beautiful. Golden spiny tail geckos have mesmerizing eyes, and a tan eggshell kind of background color with black speckles all over that remind me a little bit like paint splatter. And with a thick golden tail with an orange stripe down the middle, they couldn't be more beautiful. There are three subspecies of the golden spiny-tailed gecko though, and that's where the tail stripe varies and sometimes the eye color. Golden spiny-tailed geckos are native to Queensland, Australia more specifically the Burglow Belt, and they inhabit the dry shrublands and woodlands along that east coast there, and they will eat about any bug that they can fit in their mouth. The, one of the fun things about their reproduction is that they only lay two eggs. That's a really small number for a lot of the lizards that I know about. And that just about does it for all the humdrum about the golden spiny-tailed gecko. Now we can dive into the bizarre and strange facts that follow this little critter. These guys are nocturnal, but they are so far from blind as a bat. They have vision 350 times greater than our own vision. That's pretty intense. And then on top of that, they have specialized rods and cones in their eyes that enable them to not only see in the dark, but to see full color in the dark. That makes them a pretty good hunter. Not to mention those eyes. They look exactly like the eye of Sauron. The next adaptation that caught my eye was the tail. Not only is it beautiful, but it has a superpower that can rival a horny toad and a skunk. When threatened, the golden spiny-tailed gecko can lift its tail and spray a stream of sticky, slimy, sticky ick. There's what's called mid-dorsal rupture zones on the gecko's tail, right there on the skin, that they can use to spray their secret serum. It smells bad, it tastes bad, and they can spray it almost 20 inches at whatever they perceive to be a threat. Now, I think that makes a pretty good predator deterrent, and if I had a big one, I bet it would work as a pretty good Karen deterrent, too. Now we have our new gecko friend, climbing trees, hanging out at night, scoping the landscape with incredible vision, and spraying its sticky muck at whatever it thinks might eat it. And not to mention, look at that purple mouth! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit like, hit the bell icon, comment on what you want to see next, questions you might have, and don't forget to keep seeking the wonder in our world.